Hey guys, it's Sam. Today we're going to talk about the slit lamp. We're going to talk about the biomicroscope, um, which is really just a low power binocular microscope with a light source attached to it. Um, and a lot of what we talk about today is going to be geared towards what you'll need to know to pass your NCLE examination. Um, so the slit lamp uses different uh, types of illuminations to view different anatomy of the eye and the uh, adnexa, the lids and the lashes surrounding the eye. So it's important to know how, uh, which one to use and, and how it would be applicable. So in general, you're going to start the uh, slit lamp examination in a low power on the microscope. Uh, very important to know the slit lamp power range is 6x or to 40x or 6 times to 40 times. So you're going to start in a low power um, with the diffuse illumination uh, and diffuse meaning that it's spread out illumination, right? So it's not a, a thin beam. It's not a three millimeter beam of light. It's, it's wide. So it's going to cover the anterior surface of the eye so you can survey the lids, the lashes, general corneal health. So first illumination to know would be diffuse illumination. And just remember that that's a wide beam of light. Next, we have a direct illumination. A direct illumination is any illumination um, where the light source and the microscope are focused on what you are trying to study on the eye. So that's direct, and that makes sense. We could all uh, see how that you know, would be easy to remember. Uh, but within direct illumination, we have different subcategories or different types of illumination. So the first direct illumination that you have to remember is called parallel piped. So parallel piped illumination, just remember it's one to three millimeters um, in width and the examiner is, is putting that right on what they want to observe. So parallel piped, most common direct illumination. So after parallel piped, we have the optic section illumination. Um, optic section is just one millimeter wide. So that's going to be your key on optic section. It's a direct illumination. It's one millimeter wide. And they are going to ask the question, uh, which illumination is used to survey or to look at the different uh, layers of the cornea, and that's optic section. And for review, from anterior or front to back, the cornea is epithelium, bowman's, stroma, decimus, and endothelium. And to view those separately, to see the layers, you can use the optic section direct illumination. Um, next, we have the specular reflection illumination. Specular reflection um, is when the patient's focus should bisect the light source and the microscope. Um, it's commonly used to view the endothelial layer of the cornea to determine things like Fuchs dystrophy, uh, which we know is a, the inability of the eye to properly uh, perform detergescence. Um, but yeah, so that is the specular reflection um, and it's primarily going to be used to view the endothelium in the cornea. So after um, specular reflection, we have conical beam. Conical beam is another direct illumination. Conical beam is where you get a, a pinpoint illumination. You may hear it referred to as a pinpoint illumination or conical beam as where the width and the height go down to about a millimeter into just like a cone or conical shape. Again, this is a direct illumination. So we have indirect illumination. So there's direct, then indirect. Indirect illumination is great for surveying um, neovascularization. And this is where you're focusing on anatomy that is adjacent to the light source, right? So it's next to the light source. Um, then we have retroscopic illumination. Retroscopic illumination is really neat. This is where you focus the light source on a more posterior or internal part of the eye, such as the crystalline lens or the iris or even the retina, and then you focus the microscope um, on a more anterior front surface of the eye. So specular, uh, I'm sorry, retroillumination, you're going to focus the light towards the back of the eye, it's gonna reflect it towards the front of the eye, and you're gonna focus the microscope on the anterior structure of the eye. After retroscopic illumination, we have uh, sclerotic scatter, and sclerotic scatter is really neat. You're actually gonna focus the light at the limbus, and it's gonna, it's gonna actually scatter the light. It's gonna, the sclera is gonna become a conduit of, for that light, um, and it's really good at observing the cornea. It's gonna show up if there's any uh, areas of opacity um, in the cornea. It just gives a great uh, view, if you can imagine just uh, the light itself becoming diffuse 
within the anterior of the eye and just highlighting different things. Guys, um, replay the video, learn your illuminations. They're going to ask you about the illuminations on the exam. Um, and definitely uh, subscribe to the channel, share it, like the video, submit any comments. I'd be glad to respond. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.